In this video, I'm going to describe the different tools and processes used in this time lapse session. So, as you see the model, if you see large, kind of bulky kind of changes, that's uh, going to be the move brush. And if you see slicing into the model, like kind of what you saw on the neck, that's definitely going to be the Damien Standard brush. You can see I am going back and forth between the Damien Standard and uh, using the move brush quite a bit. And then also holding down shift to uh, smooth out any kind of results that you might see on there. So again, you see a lot of spinning around the model. We've kind of talked about that, where you're going to uh, move the model, check proportions, and the only way to really do that in 3D is just to keep kind of spinning around the model as you're working. Uh, we'll get into a section here where you'll see I'll start to lay down uh, a little more geo using uh, the clay tubes brush. But primarily right now you can see like these shapes, I tried something out with the move brush and then we've got the Damien Standard brush. I held down Alt to uh, make those kind of hard edges that you uh, see running around that top edge. And then I was trying out the uh, trim dynamic to get more kind of a flattened feel or shape. wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with this area. Uh, I actually ended up closing up what would be considered this mouth. and. It'll be a next part where we work on the top of the head and kind of figure that out. And so this is uh, being done with a uh, time lapse mode that is using the undo history. And I think I've mirrored the geo. So you saw earlier the looked like the geometry kind of exploded. So that's kind of what's going on there with that. So there's no real problem with the geo. It's just I think as it does this video, sometimes it has uh, issues with that. So here are just, again, the using the Damien standard but making the brush size smaller and you can see you can get a lot of kind of details kind of going in there and just kind of carving out what would be these shapes. We've talked about masking and how to just make masks, how to inverse those and then just uh, dipping those shapes in. So they're kind of rough right now but later on we'll kind of tighten that up uh, when we get to the hard surface area because we'll be using uh, some of the different polish features and things like that that they have for this. This you can definitely tell the buildup of this brush is uh, clay tubes. Um, so I really like using that brush for uh, building up bulk in different areas. And here again is just the uh, Damien standard for doing some of this little line work and then we uh, talked about using the lazy mouse and turning the lazy mouse on to get these little finer kind of wrinkles. And really, I, that's the stage I, I enjoy quite a bit because it does feel just more like you're kind of just drawing at that point. So I needed a little bit more uh, muscle for the, um, the tricep area. So I went ahead and used the clay tubes for that. And then wanted to detail out some of these muscles in the back. So just using uh, the, uh, the Damien Standard brush again. And then it really is just kind of idea exploration and uh, having fun with some of the shapes and again always after you see a lot of these brushes we'll be smoothing things out just hold down shift to invoke the uh, the smooth brush at that point and here you can see small proportional changes and maybe moving things around that's definitely the move brush and the brush size probably a, a decent size for that It's really nice you can just kind of keep looking around the model and really checking your proportions and seeing if things are working okay. And I made the back of this character really large. Um, later on in the video I do kind of uh, shrink that up a little bit. Here I'm going to have a more in-depth uh, video on this process. This really kind of starts moving into the hard surface, some of the hard surface techniques, but I did want to show you how to uh, use the transpose tool and uh, extrude shapes out from existing geometry because I still think that's uh, something that's pretty important for the stage that you're at in the beginning. Um, so I don't want to wait too long to show you that. I want to get you introduced to that so you can start building some of this stuff out. And uh, in that video that's coming up that describes that process, we'll also look at masking and how to make a mask on the back, this back shape that you see here and then we can make a new piece of geometry from that from uh, just extract, extracting from one of our sub tools so it actually makes a new piece of geo but that piece of geometry on top of his shoulder 
that's actually all one piece with the model so when you use the, the move brush you're moving everything together so there's pros and cons for each uh, each method in this part I'm going to uh, use a much more organic process so you can see that shape that I had for the top of the head I actually duplicated that uh, within the subtool area there's a button for du duplicating it because uh, I'm going to save that shape off and make it into a helmet later on uh, but here I've uh, kind of used the move brush to mash this thing into the rough kind of shape that I want then you can see I masked off a uh, shape for the ear and just used the move brush to pull out something for an ear shape and I'm just kind of tweaking this thing around I was also using the uh, clay tubes uh, brush to uh, get different kind of shapes uh, for the eyebrows things like that so here just again using the move brush just to pull out these shapes for what the teeth are and I'm taking the DynaMesh and I talked to you guys about uh, increasing the resolution on the DynaMesh and that's what I'm doing here and then I opened up this area for clay polish after uh, I increase the resolution on the DynaMesh sometimes I want to get the uh, I don't know this new these new pieces of geometry this new topology kinda looks a little rough if you just hit that clay polish button that's open there off to the right um, it kind of nicely takes that new resolution and kind of uh, does this algorithm on it that uh, cleans things up a little bit now you gotta it puts a mask on it when you do that so just make sure that and it's not visible you gotta make sure you uh, take that mask off um, but if you're stepping up in your resolution on your DynaMesh you might want to just try that out and see if you like that so anytime you see that uh, little marquee in the open viewport you know that I'm uh, remeshing and here I use an insert brush so it's pretty easy you just tap B and then go I for the insert brush and there's a bunch of them and I just use the uh, sphere that they have and you can just go onto the surface that you're working on you can't have any subdivision levels and you just click and draw out and it'll draw out this uh, shape for a sphere uh, the other cool thing about what this does, it automatically puts a polygroup for that shape. So it makes it really easy, as you can see from our earlier videos, just holding down control and shift and then clicking on that to isolate like the eye. And then we can just hold down control and click in the open viewport and it'll mask the eye out. Uh, and then if we bring the whole model back, just hit control and shift and click in the open viewport and it'll bring everything back. We've got the eye masked off and then we can freely sculpt on the head and not worry about uh, messing up the eye so this process that I used I think it's pretty typical for uh, if you're doing traditional sculpting you kind of rough out a shape maybe what the skull might kind of look like and then put some big divots or holes where the eyes are gonna go and then you fill that shape with something like let's say you're using like metal beads or something like that for the eye shape and then you take your clay and then you build it up around that shape so we're holding uh, that shape that we're looking for for that perfect uh, you know sphere for the eye and then we're building up the clay around it so here I'm just using uh, uh, the Damien standard brush and then just kind of uh, you know kind of detailing out some of these shapes and I kept playing around with the mouth on this and trying to get the right shape for that here I just made a mask inverted it and using the uh, the move tool to kind of uh, make this shape inside of here and you can see I've got the deformation palette open off to the right and uh, there's different times I'm using that polish by feature and we looked at that in an earlier video to kind of uh, smooth things out so you might want to just kind of mess around with that a little bit if you're trying to get nice kind of mechanical uh, smooth shapes with that polish by feature you can see I, I had that shape masked you know so you don't have to worry about anything else being affected by that uh, by that deformation that you're using on there so again after I'm kinda getting happy with the shapes it's a little bit more detailing and kinda using the Damien standard brush and Damien standard brush again just to build out some of these different uh, lines on the head to kinda you know incorporate that mechanical cybernetic kind of feel into the organic portions and then just holding down alt you can click between the different models that you're working on so I keep switching back and forth between the head and then this lower jaw thing uh, because I want it to definitely feel like these two things are incorporated uh, together as one one piece one 
one model that works together.